Welcome to Health Source of Houston, Texas. Today's topic is spinal decompression your best treatment option. Spinal decompression is a non-surgical treatment that can relieve certain specific types of chronic back pain. Decompression of the spine is achieved with a machine developed using zero-gravity technology developed by NASA scientists who noticed that astronauts' discs were being regenerated in the weightless environment of space. It works by gently stretching out the spine in both directions, leaving a vacuum of space around the disc and removing the pressure from the disc and vertebrae. The decompression table is similar to traditional devices that use traction to relieve pressure on discs and bring pain relief to patients without surgery. Spinal decompression therapy will only work with certain back pain conditions. Your doctor will give you an examination and determine if you are a candidate for this non-invasive treatment option. Here are a few of the conditions that can be potentially treated using spinal decompression therapy. Herniated disc, also called a bulging or slipped disc. Herniation of a disc describes the abnormal condition of a disc, which can be caused by many things including injury, wear and tear, or poor posture. Degenerative disc disease. The discs of the spine should be supple and flexible like a sponge, but an unhealthy disc becomes brittle and hard and susceptible to injury such as herniation and bulging. Over the course of time or due to an injury, discs can become compressed depriving them of vital oxygen and nutrients. Facet Joint Syndrome The facet joints are the small joints located in between and behind the vertebrae. They are almost constantly in motion and can simply wear down or become degenerated, causing the cartilage to disappear and producing bone spurs and osteoarthritis. This condition causes back pain when the spine is moving. Spinal stenosis. This condition occurs when the space surrounding the spinal cord becomes narrow, putting pressure on the spinal cord and the nerves of the spine and causing pain, but also weakness and or numbness in the legs. Spinal decompression therapy has been developed as an alternative for those who would like to avoid back injury, which carries many risks of complications and is not always effective in managing back pain. Just as there are back pain conditions that could potentially be treated with spinal decompression therapy, there are other conditions which are contraindications for spinal decompression, including but not strictly limited to pregnancy, recent injury, uncontrolled high blood pressure, advanced osteoporosis, bone cancer in the spine, tumor or infection, spinal surgery with metal screws or other appliances. Despite the fact that it has been cleared by the FDA, many insurance companies still consider spinal decompression therapy to be an experimental procedure and therefore do not cover the costs. For those whose insurance will not cover this course of treatment, it can be very costly. People who suffer from chronic back pain often try many different kinds of alternative therapies in order to avoid back surgery. If you're someone who has already experimented with lots of alternative treatments for your chronic back pain, but you're still suffering, spinal decompression therapy might be the answer to your prayers. To find out more information on topics like this, please go to www.healthsourceofhoustonmemorial.com.